Oh, she's right down here, Davy. I'm afraid we're gonna. The view's not good, but she's right there. You see her there, Dave? I think so, yeah. yeah. If you just change the light there, you will see her. Sorry, everybody. I mean, I know it's difficult, and I will try and move, but there is a lioness there with very, very small cubs. And because she's here, we can spend a little bit of time here. Okay, I'm just going to back up a little bit, Dave. We'll see if you can get... You know, there you've got the lioness. And there you can see a tiny little cub, too. Sorry, I'm going to try and be manly about this. This is wonderful. Look how little its little ears don't even stand up yet. I'm just going to call this in. Everyone, we're not going to be here for long. It will only be a one-vehicle sighting. But there is a tiny little, little lion cub. Bernie, come in. Look at that. Bernie, did you copy Bernie? Now, Bernie, the mother is on site here, and also three youngsters, so I think we must make it a one-vehicle sighting. Um, there's a one out of five visual. Look at the awning, it's so tired. If you give me just five minutes, then I'll, I'll pull up from here. Stations 1 and Kohuma Lioness on site with three cubs. Uh, on the position to the north and east of Biffles Hook Dam. Best approach off the fire break. You'll get a view from there. I think definitely a one vehicle sighting. Isn't that wonderful, everybody? I'm just going to try and reposition slightly. This is fantastic. I can't believe this. I really thought this was a com complete waste of time to come in here. And yet here we are. Davey, tell me if you get a decent view here. Oh, look at that. Sorry. There, Dave. Come back a bit. That way a little. There, in that gap there, here. Yeah. Try there. There you are. No, that's a piece of sand, David. Where what I can see them quite nicely. Um <laughs> she's just yeah. Um there, that's it. I think you've no, no you don't. Where's the camera pointing? You see the line is? There's the lioness, but the cub is just to the left of her. There we go. That's her. There we are. Look, look, little things. They're only about eight days old. Well, no, I'd say about mm, probably ten days old. So they're not old at all, obviously. Their little ears don't stand up yet. Davy, if I go forward, would that help you? Or back? I'm just going to go... Yeah, you're right there. Bring her back slightly, very slightly. How's that, Dave? Oh, oh, our beard, you say, cuteness overload yet again? Yes, of absolutely. I mean, this is just astounding. They look at the little hairs and their ears are so small. They're not even making any noise yet. And the mother is being so very kind in letting us sit here and look at them. She wouldn't be so kind if we came in on foot. In fact, she'd be utterly terrifying. Just stunning stuff. There's the mother. The 
This is wonderful. There we go. Ah. Now obviously much too early to try and sex these little ones. But they too, so we saw the three today at the at the kill site. Go ahead, Bernie. Sorry, I'm just on the radio everybody. Isn't that lovely? Um, so those little ones that were at the kill today will suckle from this female that's got these little ones. Well, we know um, they, they cross suckle completely, which is amazing. Okay, copy that. And Janie, you say, are their eyes open? Um, they are open. And their eyes open around about six days. All right, everyone. I think we're going to have... I'm just going to roll forward slightly. And then I am afraid we're going to have to move out of here. Try one more there, Dave, and then I think we're going to leave them be. She's completely relaxed there. Anyway, we know they're fine, so let's pull out of here. And I just, you know what? Let me give, give me one second. Um, Lou, I wonder if we could go to Jamie briefly. Let's let me try and deal with the radio quickly, and let me find out if we can stay here. And then um, I'll, I'll let you let you know. Is that possible? Okay, let's go across the bush walk, find out what Jamie's got. I'll just keep get an idea of what's going on here. So guys, we've been having some amazing tracking lessons from Herbert, who works at the speed of light in order to follow tracks. It's amazing what hours and hours and hours out here will do for improving one's tracking skills. So this is what we're looking at. Now often when we stop to point at a track, we pointed a track in a, on a road in a nice patch of soft sand. Look at how indistinct these footprints are that we are following. And this is the sort of thing that we do off-road. We do it uh, not off-road when we're off the vehicle, when we're trying.